everybody, today is November 4th and we're here at Animal Kingdom at Walt Disney World to see what's new, what's going on, and have a fun day. And just walking in, there's a lot new. Cause today, just today, Animal Kingdom has put up the Christmas tree, decked the halls, put up the evergreen boughs. They're playing Animal Kingdom specific holiday music, Christmas songs, like in the style of Animal Kingdom. There's decorations everywhere. So I bet you there's new stuff going on all over. I know there's some new food here too that I haven't tried. So we're gonna have some fun and get in the spirit. Let's go. It's so pretty, these Animal Kingdom renditions of classic Christmas songs. And the tree is massive, it's so beautiful. Let's go look at it up close. Everyone's excited too. I hear people walking in like, the Christmas tree, the Christmas tree. The tree at Animal Kingdom is special. It's different from all the other trees and all the other parks. Look at this alligator xylophone. I wanna play it so bad. There are really cool Disney characters, ornaments, animals, presents under the tree. And on the tree, it's obviously gonna be, you know, all Animal Kingdom themed, different animal masks, Beautiful decor that looks like it's from all over the world. Very natural, kind of look like they're made of wood and you know, just natural elements. So pretty. I love this Chip and Dale spinning snow globe thing. They're so cute. Disney 100 is out and look, there's decorations all over the entrance of the park. And of course we've got earthy tones, orange and yellow and green. Pretty sure this here is Bougainvillea, but they've added all of this really pretty garland. And you see animal prints in there too. Can you hear the Christmas songs playing? What fun it is at Animal Kingdom when it's decorated. I'm telling you, everyone who walks in is excited. There's a vibe in the air. People are lining up to take photos with the tree. I can hear people saying Christmas tree. And just there's just this happiness and excitement in the air that is, it makes me very happy I'm here. I'm pretty much always happy I'm here. Animal Kingdom is a great park, but when there's something special and different and this season, like I said in my last video, I just feel like there's something in the air and this holiday season, it's gonna be a good one. The park already looks very crowded. There was a line to get through security and there's a huge line to scan into. I think part of it is the new holiday decorations and all of that and part of it is it's a run Disney weekend and then part of it is just the season is beginning, you know? It's a very busy season here at Disney World, starting now basically. Of course, I always go my secret way. The rope bridge, the waterfall. And they're playing, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I'll tell you one thing, it's beginning to look a lot like holiday crowds. Wow. But I also see lots of decorations up everywhere, so let's look at them. Island Mercantile looks snowy. And you see up there those animals. There's an owl, a squirrel, a fox, a bunch of birds, deer and stuff. Those are representations of the animals in the event they have here during the holidays called the Merry Menagerie. And if you've seen any of my past videos on the Merry Menagerie, you know it's just so different and unique and cool and it's puppets, almost life-size puppets of different wintry, snowy animals that fit with the winter season. Puppeteered by actors, by entertainment, who walk them around and they interact with guests. And they're so beautiful, so unique. It's a really special holiday tradition and I'll definitely make a video on it when they start that here, so stay tuned for that. But I see so much new today that is pretty and I'm getting hungry and I need some coffee, so let's enjoy today.
See how it's all frosty, silver and gold. I wasn't even gonna start looking at the merchandise until later, but it is out. It is out front and center, the brand new holiday merchandise. So we saw a lot of this at Magic Kingdom. We saw some of it at Hollywood Studios. It looks like it's in all the parks now. Look, penguins. And the decorations are made out of what at least looks like natural fibers. Look at this. Full on displays. Oh yeah. So the other day I bought one of these tins I didn't include buying it in my video, I just did it. But let me tell you, this peppermint bark is delicious and they're individually wrapped, which highly recommend. The best peppermint bark ever. They have treats out. There are all sorts of holiday treats. And this is new, I haven't seen this. Oh, it's a cookie jar. Hmm, cool. It's all so pretty. So it looks like they have everything that we've seen, plus even more. Oh my gosh. I'm still thinking about that hat. And they have plenty of these ears that were very popular in Magic Kingdom uh, the other day. Was it yesterday or the day before? I got some. I think they're really pretty. And these are always fun too. I think the clothes they have for children this year are so precious. Look at this. Imagine dressing your little one up in this. They're gonna look like an angel, a little angel. Oh, and the pet spirit jerseys again. And the new holiday shopping bags out too. Cool, 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 cool. I was gonna look at this later. It's just right in the front of the park, right when you walk in. So you really can't avoid it. And it's honestly just too cute to avoid. It must be done. I don't make the rules. This snowy collection, just divine. The Starbucks at Animal Kingdom is called Creature Comforts and it too has its halls decked. <laughs> See? The holiday drinks are out. Peppermint Mocha is probably my favorite. I tried the iced gingerbread oat milk chai latte the other day and it was good, but I didn't feel like it was very Christmassy. It was just sweet, basically. But I think we're gonna go with my fave today. So there's also these. And right now those bling tumblers are on sale and I saw these at sale in the parks too. So this is your chance to get them if you want. They're $30, so still pricey, but less than what they're going for at full price. I got my peppermint mocha. And I bet the reason the older colors are on sale, even though they still look brand new, is because there are new cups out. A holiday, a shimmery purple Disney 100. It's really cute though, the candy cane straw. And they also have the ornament of the bling cup. I saw these in Magic Kingdom too. Cheers, peppermint mocha, first of the season. Hmm, I hear something. them from far away <laughs> and they're coming they're coming they're gonna come through here we go I love the boat cavalcades they do here I cheers them with my Starbucks <laughs> that's so fun I love the drummers there's different cavalcades boat cavalcades or I guess there's a different name for them boat flotillas that go by some have characters some have drummers they're lots of fun but yeah, uh, peppermint mocha, always good. If you like cho mint chocolate, like mint chocolate chip, any kind of mint chocolate combo, you're gonna like this. If you don't, maybe skip it. Cause it does kind of taste like chocolate and toothpaste, but I like it. Mm. Makes me feel fresh. And we're on the bridge over to Africa and look at this beautiful wreath. Expedition Everest back there. We've got like bottle tops and leaves and fishnet. It's kind of like things you would just find out in the water. That's cool. Let's head into Harambe. Whoa. The holiday decor here looks like 
makeshift found objects you know just made out of different things that you would find out in the water turned into ornaments and decorations and that's just so cool it's even like seaweed looking plants in here and ribbons and bows I need the stage looks. They've got a star up. Okay. Look at this great Christmas tree. Put a little elephant in there. That's cool. It's like a torchlight. Those are funnels for putting liquids into your car or whatever. That's so creative. There are hundreds of animals carved into the Tree of Life, and I love to try to spot them each time. I can already see dozens just from right here. I think for lunch today, we're gonna go to one of my favorite places to dine here in Animal Kingdom, Yak and Yeti Restaurant. Jennifer, family of two. Hidden Mickey's. I was seated very quickly, which is nice, and they told me there are some new things on the menu, and there's this Taste the Riches, some of these are new. That looks amazing, and I literally might get that. I don't know why I said literally, but I might get that. I love a menu with big giant pictures. Oh my gosh, this all looks so good. <gasps> I am loving this. Ooh, the Dragon Roll Bowl looks good. I ordered something that sounds like it's gonna be a favorite. I think I've had a similar type of bowl here before, but they said it's new, so maybe it's like revamped or something. Either way, it sounds really good. Of course, I start out with my favorite iced tea. My order has arrived. I got the Dragon Roll Bowl. This is spicy tuna, dynamite crab, teriyaki salmon, cucumbers, edamame, carrots, mango, tempura crunch over sushi rice. <laughs> combination of flavors is so delicious. It's like a poke bowl type of thing, but more, more elevated and it's delicious. If you like sushi and poke bowls and things like that, you're gonna love this and it's a lot too. Everything tastes really fresh. I love the avocado on top, the sushi rice underneath there. You kind of mix it together and get different bites each time. Lots of fresh veggies in there. The fish is good. It's like sushi type of fish, little bits of tempura crunch in there, and just everything. Every little bit is good. It's all good together. You can eat it however you want, like by section by section. And there's a little blob of wasabi here. Make sure you don't accidentally eat that by itself. You get that with a little bit of piece of sushi fish and it's yummy. done that bowl was so filling I everything except the crab the crab was fine but like with all the other good stuff in there I felt like it was just kind of filler to me but yeah I devoured it it was delicious everything was really fresh and good and I'm so full so full so I want to take a walk over to Dino Land USA and just kind of like stroll around and check things out Maybe there'll be some characters out. And normally they decorate it also for the holidays in a really cool way. I'm not sure if the decorations are up there yet, so let's go check. Oh. 
I'm seeing decorations all along the way and the lights are on and they're so pretty. This is where you can meet Mickey and Minnie. 75 minute wait. All the waits are really long right now today. <laughs> Dino Land, USA. It's official, Dino Land is decorated. And this lovely skeleton, dinosaur skeleton outside has its Santa hat and beard. So that makes it truly, truly official. It's official. I can see that the dinosaur bones are covered in lights too. So once it gets dark, those will be all lit up. This is all, and they're playing holiday music too in a different style than the rest of the park. This park isn't open at night nearly enough considering how beautiful it is at night, especially Pandora, but all of it, and especially lit up for the holidays. But now that time is changing, by the time this video comes out, it'll be time change day already. So the time is changing, so it will be darker earlier, which stinks in a lot of ways, but hopefully it means we'll get more nighttime in parks like this that tend to close early. You know, probably because of the animals, which the animals come first. We respect that. Let them sleep and get some peace and quiet. But hopefully we'll get some nighttime here. But I see so many decorations. Let's go look. The boneyard, or should we say the bow yard. Get it? Because there's a bow on it. And you see the Christmas lights? Do you see the cutest detail on this? Besides the bow and the lights, there's a little gift tag that says to Pluto from Donald. That's the best bone ever. This makes me so happy. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty that is. I think Donald's in there. I can barely see into this meet and greet, but I know it's one of the ducks and we're gonna get in line and meet him. We've got stockings up here. I feel like that one's gotta be for Scrooge. <laughs> All right, my friends, in just a few minutes, Donald is going to go to a dance party with Daisy, but do not worry, wait right here, we will be right back. Let's get in about five minutes. Oh, Daisy, too. Oh. Hi, Daisy. Oh. Check out the Christmas trees next to Donald. They've got ducks and dinosaurs in them. Love that. Hi Donald! I love your dinos and ducks trees. Like these are fabulous. <laughs> Donald, and you're so good with the kiddos and that's why you're number one. Everyone in line, I'm like, crying for how cute you are with them. You are, you're number one. <laughs> These are amazing. Donald is so cute, so, so cute. Every you little kid, even the ones, you know the kids get scared, some, some of them are just like, <laughs> they get so scared, he just hugs them and takes care of them. And that's the best, best. Donald's the best, number one. Okay, and all the cool decorations, and I did not even notice this giant duck snowman. Or is it a dinosaur? I don't know. It's got like a beak. That's awesome. <laughs> so fun. Let's take the Cretaceous Trail. The plants and animals you see along the trail have remained virtually unchanged since the late Cretaceous. The dinosaurs themselves were not as fortunate, disappearing from the earth 65 million years ago. Do you hear? Oh my gosh, there's decorations down here. Look, Christmas lights, decorations, dinosaurs. This is so awesome. Oh my gosh, it's Daisy. Daisy has her own adorable area here with pink Christmas trees, a dinosaur, and decorations. She's getting all fluffed up. She's getting all cuted up for us. Oh, you see how it says Daisy Designs and the trees are all like pin cushions and sewing stuff, thread and needles and buttons. This is her little design studio. I love it. Hi, Daisy. Oh, 
my god, she's the best. I seriously get emotional, I don't know. I love that they both have their own unique meeting spot and that they're both decorated for the holidays right now and there's just like Christmas lights just strewn about all over the dinosaurs. It's done in a very fun, playful way that matches with the kind of vibe of this whole land. Like it's a tourist attraction, it's wacky, it's fun. It's kind of like the lights just got thrown all over everything. These aren't on yet, but a lot of them are on and yeah, so fun, so cute. I can't wait for these to turn on. Come on, it's dark enough, come on. Now that it's dark, so many more of the lights are lit and these lanterns are flickering and it gives it this dreamy, cozy vibe like you're camping, outdoorsy. It gives life to the animals. I love how special it is. Just different from the other parks, you know? Animal Kingdom has its own thing going. Exit through the same cave we entered through. Whoop. Uh, just a little sense of adventure, you know? Whee! Okay. Time to go with the throngs of people all leaving at the same time because this park does close kind of early. Oh my gosh, the Christmas tree is lit. I see it. I see it. I see it. Do you see it? Oh my goodness, it is beautiful. Wow. Oh. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's, it's magical. Legitimately magical. Oh my goodness. Against that beautiful sky, oh my goodness. Some of these are color changing. So the whole tree goes red and purple and orange and yellow. Oh my goodness. And I cannot express to you how huge this tree is either. It's huge. All right, we made it back to the car and it's time to head home. Today was a lot of fun. I love this park and I love seeing it change 
for the season. I think this is the only season it really, really changes for. And the decorations are beautiful because they blend in. They're not jarring, they don't stand out, they match with each land and they're unique they're very different from the decorations at all the other parks i like that each park has its own vibe it's a very exciting time as we are now in november 2023 and there is so much happening so much changing so many wonderful seasonal events coming up and i'm excited to do them all and share them with you it's just breathing new life into me honestly it feels so refreshing to have all this happy holiday stuff starting and I appreciate all the positivity and love from y'all on these past couple videos where I've been showing you everything changing here I feel like a lot of us are in the same state of mind right now but anyway we still have a lot more to go for 2023 exciting things maybe some surprises working on a few last minute things we'll see what happens but definitely next year we're already sitting down with our spreadsheets planning out all our trips and travels 2024 is gonna be exciting and so many cool things wow but we're gonna live in the moment, we're gonna live in the now, we're gonna enjoy this beautiful season and share it amongst ourselves. And before I keep going on and on, I'm just gonna wrap up. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Sorry for talking to you above the steering wheel right now. <laughs> I'm sending you all a ton of love. I'll see you for the next video. And until then, as always, stay holly and jolly and stay enthused. Bye.